Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and uh, Aquarius Rising weekly tarot reading May 6th to May 12th, 2019. And just bear with me a second guys to uh, shuffle the tarot cards and we can go directly into the spread. Alright, so the first card which is marking Aquarius' is topic of the week, that is going to be the Five of Swords, followed by the second one which is the challenge itself for the week, that is going to be the Ten of Swords, then we do have the positive aspect of the week, that is going to be the Chariot card, and the last one that we do have, it is the guidance that Tarot is offering to you, we do have the Six of Swords. My God, that is going to be heavy week, all right? That, that is going to be a week where it will require, you will require the full strength you have, especially with that Ten of Swords on a negative position. My God, it's, it's going to be rough, all right? But once again, the card, Five of Swords is the first one, followed by the Ten of Swords, which is the second one that is to be the challenge. Uh, the Chariot card, it is the positive aspect of the week. And then lastly, we do have the Six of Swords, which uh, is the guidance. So this reading also could be very, very broad. Literally, it could relate to um, every aspect of your life. But what happens here is that you are going to uh, make your stand and uh, make those around you aware that you just cannot take it anymore right and you will do whatever it takes to stop it whatever that is right whatever you need to stop that it is making you miserable that is making you despondent that is making you feel like your life does not worth living anymore and that starts with the topic itself so we do have the five of swords now this card could manifest itself in many ways uh the most trivial ones as uh, we do have the follow-up here it is first someone may abuse their power over you and that will be the week where you just cannot take it anymore and you confront them straight away second it you can be humiliated uh multiple times or you can be humiliated uh, for a uh, quite a lot of time until now and you just cannot take it anymore you know, and you just confront that person. Or you can realize that someone around you is holding you down, all right? It's holding you back and you cannot unfold your maximum potential. And therefore, you just cannot take it anymore and you confront them. Or you may realize that there are people abusing your kindness and you just realize that you cannot take it anymore and therefore you confront them so all comes to that that you are to confront that situation that until this very moment you were scared to confront it for one or another reason but like i said you just can't take it anymore and you have to do something to improve your personal circumstances either career-wise or either relationship-wise so that could be this third party that is constantly influencing the relationship in negative way 
and you confront them, you know, that could be your coworker that co always sabotages your job, you confront them, or it could be the coworker who constantly humiliating you in front of your boss, in front of your colleagues, or it, it is doing a surreptitious actions behind your back, and you confront them, you know, so it's all about confrontation that you will have to do throughout this week. The accompanied card that is going to be the um, Knight of Swords, and it only strengthens here the standpoint that I made with uh, the Five of Swords. It is going to be a swift decision of your behalf that you uh, basically need to uh, stand for your right because, rights, because the uh, Knight of Swords always stands for one's rights. And with the Five of Swords here on a prime position, that will be a determination of yours to do on whatever it takes, regardless of what it's going to take. It's just everything is better than what it is right now in regards to this field where you are experiencing the Five of Swords. Not with your entire life, of course, you know, but within, within this field that the, night, that the Five of Swords does manifest itself. <clears throat> so we go to the challenge itself. And that will be the Ten of Swords. So challenge-wise, Ten of Swords points that there are gonna that there will be no turning back from it. All right. Once you make the confrontation, once you decide to do something about it, it will require actions that cannot be reversed. Okay. And that will be the challenge itself to embrace this new era that it is forming, which is going to be uh, formed from your actions, all right, and just move along with it. The Ten of Swords does represent a, a dawn, a new dawn coming on the horizon, but one needs to go first through the um, necessary drastic measures that one should take in regards to the situation. And you could be a very peaceful person, you know, and you may not want to confront anybody and you may think that the situation is going to improve on its own accord. That is not the case, all right? At least with these cards, that is not the case. You got to do it by yourself. If you want to do something right, you got to do it by yourself. And this is what we do have here throughout this week. Literally, Aqu Aquarius, is you are going to let the monster out. And this monster is going to uh, solve your problems. The accompanied card that is going to be the world. So the formation, it is a, an active enemies. And it's not going to be pleasant at all. As a matter of fact, the world here points that, you, that there is no other way around it. All right. It's, it will require your... Um, like I said, you know, standing for your rights and truly try to sever, to sever the ties with, with those people which are very, very negative. We're talking about people which are constantly uh, pushing you down and are constantly undervaluing either your work, your relationships, you know, and, and your life in general. People which are mocking, uh, mocking at you, people which are not taking you serious, and so on and so forth. The world here uh, as a, um, <clears throat> a card to a combo with the Ten of Swords on a challenging position, it does uh, rather points that you will have to be uh, determined to stop that. Right to stop this negative flow of energy that it is coming in your way. Um, now something else comes to my mind, but I, I'm I'm not gonna say it really because it's it's very it's very personal and maybe no one of you is gonna suffer such a stage, you know. But ten of swords it may means that there is some sort of a, a negative energetic influence upon one's life and it's very generic interpretation but as a general reading i'm obliged to say it so a negative energetic influence upon one's life could be uh in presence there and in that point you will have to confront it with any means uh, possible now the next one that is going to be the uh, positive aspect of the week so we do have a a very good card for a change it does look like uh, with the um <clears throat> chariot card on this position as a follow-up to the previous cards 
it does look like that you're going to triumph against all odds. Should you have the iron will and determination to charge on forward? Should you do so, you are going to have the look of the hard work. You are going to have your wish fulfillment. Uh, you are going to present yourself just as one is. Conquest, triumph, like I said, victory. And on top of that, this victory is going to allow you to lay a foundation from which you can jump trampling yourself, not just jump, you know, but trampling yourself forward toward a greater height. The, um, but this card, it does point that you have to do it on your own as well, because the uh, chariot is a very singular card. One does not depend on others. Just on the contrary with the previous cards, you have to detach yourself from some noxious people or negative energies which are persisting in, um, in your life. The accompanied card here that is going to be the uh, Four of Pentacles formation it is a, a passive friend. So Four of Pentacles does point that you need to adopt. Additionally, does point that through uh, this hardship you are to do against your all odds, you are to adopt very defensive position. A position where you are to define your boundaries, where you are to define your domain and you will not allow anybody to um, jeopardize your, do your domain in any way possible. Additionally to that, by doing so, you are as well going to secure your, um, your future or you are going to opt to secure in any way your future, to secure your future of your relationship or to secure the future of your career, which is going to be a successful endeavor. So you successfully will be able to secure your position into your career or to secure your relationship, but only if you have the determination, like I said, and the iron wheel to confront those which are either humiliating you, undervaluing you, you know, holding you back, uh, abusing their power over you or abusing your kindness for their uh, behalf. And finally, what we do have, uh, it is the Six of Swords, which is the guidance that Saro is offering to you. And the Six of Swords says only one thing, you should not be afraid. You should not be afraid to do something for yourself and for your, how can I place it, for your greater good, all right? It may look scary at the start because you may think that you depend on those people in some way, okay? Or maybe you think that should you banish those people from your life, for example, you are become, you are to become alone, all right, or lonely. That could be as well, you know, a, a relationship where your partner is abusing you in any way they can, you know, they're abusing your kindness, they could be, uh, physically manipulating you or physically abusing you. Uh, they could humiliate you, you know, and so on and so forth. They could spend, uh, they could, uh, they may be spent all of the money of your savings and you are afraid to break that relationship because you're going to be lonely. Well, guess what? The Six of Swords asks you not to be afraid because should you do those drastic attempts or drastic measures in order to improve your circumstances, uh, a new shores are going to reveal to you for conquering. So you should not feel any regret whatsoever to banish this negativity of, uh, of your life. The, uh, and that will be a transition, all right? A, a very, very important transition, which you have to take it. The accompanied card that is going to be the death card. And... Uh, the the combo here is in an active neutrals ne neutrals excuse me so uh, this the the shade that death adds to the uh, six of swords it does point that your drastic actions you know and uh, and your determination and iron and iron will is not gonna have any negative impact on the core of your life so you are not going to change yourself you're not going to change your criteria you're not gonna change your goals. <clears throat> you're just going to change the circumstances which are surrounding the situation, substituting them for much better circumstances. You're going to change one friend of yours, which is constantly manipulating you, for example, for another who is faithful and who is willing to follow you through the ninth circles of hell. That is just for example. But yeah, it, it does look like that this week is going to be rather quite rough for you, Aquarius. And I do hope that at least the majority of you have the um, 
I don't know how to say it, you know, but have the awareness that it is it falls to them to do something about their poignant experiences and about the uh, negative people which are surrounding them. If you do have a, a, a nasty co-worker, that mean girl, for example, or a friend that constantly sabotages you, it is up to you to confront them, no one else. So I hope that you do so. Uh, well, that being said, this was your weekly tarot reading Aquariuses. I hope you enjoyed it, if you can enjoy such a uh, reading, you know, but I hope you like the way that I have presented you the information. And we're going to see each other next week. Hopefully, you're going to have a, a better week after 12th of May. Until then, bye.